It's nicknamed Puff the Magic Dragon, but there's nothing sweet about the gunship unleashed by the U.S. in Afghanistan. The lumbering, low-flying AC-130 cargo plane bristles with cannon and rapid-fire machine guns for attacking Taliban and Al-Qaeda troops, especially at night in a fury of deadly firepower. Its use by U.S. Special Forces signals that ground action is a big step closer in the search for Osama bin Laden and his Afghan government protectors. Next door today in Pakistan, amid tight security, Secretary of State Colin Powell predicted the Taliban will fall from bombing, isolation, and maybe invasion. So it's under enormous pressure, but I cannot tell you when that pressure will cause it to collapse. Uh, Just can't put a timeline on it. Powell and others on the Bush team downplay pro-Bin Laden demonstrations across the region. U.S. officials say most of Pakistan's 150 million people are not in the streets and back U.S. action in Afghanistan. But the nation's ruler warns Pakistani's patience is running out. They would like to see this operation to be terminated as fast as possible. And that is what I would urge uh, the coalition uh, to achieve the military objectives and terminate the operation. And U.S. accidents don't help. Today, it's the International Red Cross that's charging American pilots bombed its warehouse in Kabul, even though the building had a Red Cross on the roof. Coincidentally, President Bush was at the Red Cross in Washington, thanking kids for raising money to help starving Afghans and offering them his reassurance. We're doing everything we can to find anybody who wants to hurt you to bring them to justice. We're doing everything we can to respond to any act that may take place in our country.